What's up my Koops Troop, it's Koops, and welcome back to more Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, we did the side quest DLC to get the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 outfit, and we are looking quite dashing and handsome, if I do say so myself. Today's episode, we're gonna go look at our adventure log and go find the dark armor, the EX treasure from Misko's EX Journal 2. The royal family of Hyrule collected historically significant outfits, but they were stolen by a bandit named Misko. One of the items stolen was armor belonging to a dark entity. Somewhere in the Day of Village ruins is a journal that places the location of this treasure. So we're going to do as our main quest right now. These all say about the Day of Village ruins, so I gotta head there. Now, where are the Day of Village ruins? Well, it told me. Okay, perfect. Easy as pie. Now, what's the best way to fly over there? Is this a tower? No, that's a shrine. Um, that's across the river and up. This tower is probably decent, actually. Dueling Peaks. Oh, or maybe... This one's really high up. Yeah, you know, let's try this one. I know this is high up because it's at the top of the mountain. So we're going to try that. We're going to be a little cold, but, you know, Link can deal with it. I don't know how much I've explored in Day of Peaks. I think I've wandered through it once. We're going to look around for a journal describing the location. Because clearly a thief has got to write in a journal where he hid everything. Otherwise, he's going to forget. I mean, that's not a very good thief, but... What would I know about that? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm excited for this new outfits. I always like them. I really wish they could be upgraded to be equal to the other stuff. I don't understand why they won't let you do that. It doesn't make any sense to me. Why, like, what's the difference between wearing... Oh my gosh, the whole, like, world shook there. That was weird. So I need to climb up here, and I'm going to go... Actually, I am not that cold. I thought it would be way colder than this. The Aurora Borealis just calls me, though, doesn't it? So it's uh, somewhere over here we need to go. Yeah, you just want to fly over there and check it out, don't you? Yeah, I don't really understand why they don't let you upgrade the stuff. I don't see why they wouldn't, you know? So let's say this is the swim gear, like my outfit I've currently got on. Let's pause for a second and look at that. As I push the wrong button again. Man, I got to get used to that. So this gives me 15. They're all five for swim speed up. That's the exact same ability as... This stuff, um, and this is at 20, fully upgraded. For some reason, I've only got this at 8, but 20. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> why can I not upgrade that armor and get it stronger? All it does is look different. That's all, you know, it, it provides the same thing. Maybe they feel like it'd break the game if you had all these options. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. But I don't really agree with that. Or at the very least, make it possible to use these. I mean, what if this armor was closer to... So the, all of that stuff fully upgraded is probably like 50 or whatever. What, what if this stuff got into the 40s? So at least it was a viable option to switch and use, you know? I, I just don't understand why it's not even viable, realistically. You kind of... Unless you're going to go ahead and just be silly. What's all this up here? What is this? I, I'm just like curious about this weird... Oh, it's a well. <laughs> oh, I broke my kneecaps. Burn. Oh, smashed. Fire rod, huh? Let's, uh... That's an okay weapon. He yuck! Bye bye. <laughs> Wait, there's nothing even here. I thought maybe I could put a Korok or something. Oh no, now the bats want me dead. Oh, let's get over here to the Day of Village Ruins. I'm getting sidetracked already. The episode hasn't even started yet. Come on, Goops, get in there! Ooh, the creepy music comes on in. Ooh! Smooth as a criminal. So we've definitely, I've walked around the Day of Village Ruins before. There's not much here. It is a ruin. So this thing is telling me there's a treasure chest like next, next to me. Oh, wait. Is this considered the treasure? Was this book always here? I don't think so. First page. I hid the six priceless relics I stole from Hyrule Castle and treasure chest. I shall write down their locations, Misko. 
The traveling merchant's hood is in the right hand of the dragon that consumes the spring of courage at Dracuzu Lake. Okay? Okay? The blue garb of the hero who controlled the wind and traveled the ocean is where the Menoat River was born. Okay, I don't really remember that river. The helm of the self-proclaimed King of Shadows is in the swamp of the Valley of Dead Trees south of Dueling Peaks. Okay? The evil spirit's armor set is hidden within far on sea of trees. Find these pieces at the highest of three waterfalls north of Lake Floria, at the bridge between small waterfalls over Floria River, and at the broken stone bird of Ibarra Forest. EX2 is all that's written on the last page. What could it mean? Hmm. I'm not sure. Probably because it's the second DLC stuff. Uh, wait, my indicator still going off? Does that mean there was treasure chest? Is it in here? Hey, oh! Ah, yeah! Thought you could hide. Oh, it's just a, just a crappy blade. Uh, however, I still could use it. Bye bye. Man, Link can throw that thing far. This is a heavy weapon you got there. I'll take the eightfold blade. Why not? It's kind of bad, but oh my gosh, there's so much treasure here to discover. The treasure indicator is very useful, but also at the same time very annoying. Saw something over. I thought over there. Yeah, that's definitely treasure. Should I go get it? It's right there. Should I do it? All right, you guys convinced me. I'll go do it. Don't want to waste too much time here. Or do we? Do we want to get out of here? We want to go find some new outfits. Wait, this is not it. Oh, but this is a Korok, so I guess that's a good thing. Oh my gosh, it's all messed up. Here. Oh, I gotta untangle it? Oh my gosh, this game expects a lot out of me. Wait, I think I made it worse. Yeah, I did make it worse. Hey, oh, we untangled it. I actually had never done one of these untangling ones. That's hilarious. I did not. I thought that was a treasure chest, but it was a fun Korok. Yeah, ha, ha. Hey, buddy. We don't really need to do Korok seeds anymore. We are obviously aren't maxed out on um, the Korok upgrade stuff, but I don't really feel like doing it. We got all the important things. We got the weapons. You know, we got weapons upgraded. Bows. Oh, we have a lot more bows, and we have a lot more shields, right? Or is this max on bows? Well, I guess you could probably go more, right? I would think so. Bows could be nice. Shields could be nice, but I always have those maxed out. Even swords nowadays I have maxed out, so it's not really that important, I guess. Anyways, let's go ahead and start looking at our quest we need to do here. Let's go to Adventure Log. So the first one we're doing is Dark Armor. The Evil Spirit Armor set is hidden within Far on Sea of Trees. Find these pieces at the highest of three waterfalls north of Lake Floria. So let's start from there. Let's not even read anything else. Highest of three waterfalls, Lake of L Lake Floria, north of Lake Floria. So here's Floria Bridge. Here's Lake Floria. I'm assuming these are the waterfalls it's talking about. So the highest of three. So it's either one, two, three, and then this is the highest one right up here. That's probably what it's referring to. I mean, if... if if these are considered the three waterfalls, like these... Oh, well, this is a different lake, isn't it? Could it... One, two... I mean, it could be here at Corda Lake. This one only has one, one waterfall, two waterfalls. One waterfall, two waterfall. One waterfall, two waterfall, three... It could be right here. It's either up here, because this is definitely the tallest, if I remember correctly. We're going to travel and check it out. I think the shrine is underneath this waterfall, but... The waterfall right uh, above it is the definitely the highest one, but it said of three waterfalls, so this might not count. It's I'm a little confused by the wording. I don't. We'll see when we get over there. I, I'll just swim up the waterfall. But speaking of that, swim up the waterfall. I need to change my outfit. Dang it! This gives me swim up, but it doesn't give me the ability to swim up waterfalls. They wanted to keep that Zora only. I, I can I can understand that. That's that's okay. But that also means if you're ever going to swim in water, why would you ever wear this, you know? Because you might need to climb up waterfalls, so you might as, well, might as well put on your Zora outfit. Speaking of that, let's do let's do just that. We only need really the this, right? Or do we need all of them? I don't really remember. I think you only need the one, the shirt, technically. 
Okay, so this is right behind it. We're gonna swim up the waterfall. Oh boy, here we go. The long waterfall. Ha! And we made it. No, 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 no. Oh boy, I gotta climb around when it's all wet outside. That's pretty rough. So let's see here. What do we got? Okay, that's um. I think we already did that. That was a cork, wasn't it? Like you had to put it in the middle. Let's let's run around the thing. I would assume the treasure chest would be up here. If it was uh, up up in this range at all. Yeah. I mess with those guys. They're too slow to mess with me anyways. Yeah, I think we already did this correctly. Uh... Oh, maybe I didn't. But this wouldn't be a treasure chest. That's Korok at best. Now, see, I got a little Korok right there. So I must have done his thing. Is there a treasure chest in the middle there? I can't even see. Oh, there's a... No, there's a rock. Not... Well, yeah, the rock that you put in there. I don't... See anything suspicious up here? I don't see anything in the ground. So if it's not, this is definitely the highest. If we look, I'm gonna go over here and look, show show everyone. Though it's kind of a bad day, 6 a.m. and rainy, so you really can't see very far. But let's take a look. So from up here, it's definitely the tallest of all the waterfalls. You'll see over there, that one's a little low. There's a waterfall over there. It's shorter, but that's also south of the lake, so that doesn't count. I could see maybe Maybe Corda Lake, this, maybe that's what it's talking about. Cause here's three waterfalls and said north of three. So let's, uh, let's check that out. Also my shrine indicator's kind of going, or my, not shrine, my temp, my treasure chest indicator's kind of going off. So let's check that out. Oh, I can't move that rock. I don't see anything in the water. Maybe I'm totally wrong about all of this. Oh, wait, there's a chest just right there. Maybe a random one, though? This guy saw me. What? He hit me? Oh, boy. I dropped my bow somewhere. Oh, and my shield. Where'd my bow go? Is this the treasure chest? Or this is a random one. This is a random one, isn't it? So this is not what we're looking for. Where'd my bow go? I actually don't even see it. How is this guy not dead yet? Like, legit. <laughs> I'm like, I thought I've killed this guy a couple times. Oh, that worked out for me. Oh, I can't throw this thing away. I don't want it. So, so far, no luck. We have not found the thing we're looking for. I've lost some of my stuff. Where'd my shield and bow go? Oh, there's my bow. I picked it up again. Cool. Got all that. So, this is not the treasure chest I'm looking for. I don't... See anything up? There's another rock down there. There's a cube. We can check that out. Let's read the thing again. I'm a little, a little lost here. Find this piece at the highest of three waterfalls. Uh, is this not? It wasn't there unless it was like right underneath it, or maybe it was back there. I didn't see anything. Let's go do this Korok while we think about it. Okay, I can't even see what I'm looking at. Oh my gosh, my head is just in the way. Uh, it needs to go to the... There. Alright, so we got that little dude out of the way. Have not found our hidden treasure chest yet, though.
Oh wait, there's treasure chest. And there's guys spinning at me. I will smack you. Oh, this is the EX one. Oh, we found it. Phantom Ganon. Some of this eerie headgear is inspirited by a dark entity resembling the great king of evil himself. It's a rather rare find. That was really tricky. Where does this go, too? I forget how to do these ones. Does it go somewhere? Do I kill the squirrels with it? Why is the game so laggy? Oh, there was something hidden underneath it. All right, we're, we're right here. Let's go ahead and do this. And this one's not hard. Or maybe it is. Yeah, don't fall off! Two for the price of one. I'll take that. Okay, 50 rupees, and... Nope, 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 nope. Open. Nope. Oh my gosh, Link, how stupid can you be? Open, yes. <laughs> we got lucky it landed on another block, though. Open, nothing, nothing, really. So, this one was north of the waterfall at the highest of three... The highest of three waterfalls? Maybe it means one, two, three. I really, I'm really confused by the wording on that. It doesn't, if it just said like, it's located among Floria Falls, that would actually be make more sense, I think, than what it's stated. Cause the highest of three, this is the highest of all the waterfalls. I don't really get what it means by three. Cause even from here, it's one, two. Is this spot right here considered higher than this isn't the third spot though. I, I I don't even I just don't get it. I mean, plain and simple, I just don't fully get it. I'm glad we found it though. At the bridge between a small waterfalls over Floria River. So now we gotta look for the bridge between small waterfalls. So here's Floria River. This one should be pretty straightforward, I think. And there's our bridge. That that is pretty pretty obvious. So what's the fastest way? Probably from far on tower and just go down the river. This one should be really straightforward. Uh, there shouldn't be any confusion on this one. Just go to the bridge and it should be underneath. Hopefully they get a little less confusing. See, that's why I'm glad I have the treasure indicator on. I don't think I would have found that one. I was kind of searching around in that area, but it did help point me in the right direction. We did find a wrong treasure chest first, though, so... It's okay. Yeah, I still, I still honestly can't figure out exactly what I meant by three of the highest... I don't know. It's okay. We found it. That's all that matters. Let's go on over now to our next spot, the blue pin I just did. We're just gonna follow down the river. This is actually a nice little relaxing ride. You know, we're just gonna cruise on down the river. Make our way over. I actually really like quests like this because they kind of force you to go to maybe areas you haven't explored or haven't been to. And I think anytime the game does stuff like that, it's great. It gives you an opportunity to see things that you hadn't, you know, seen before. Uh, and you don't, you're not forced to do them, but if you want to, you know, it's right there for you. So nice, Sarge on bridge. Have we ever been here before? I guess we haven't. I've never crossed this bridge. Sarge on bridge. I've definitely been in this area multiple times, but maybe I flew over. Maybe I walked around this. I just never have been down here. I'm assuming this thing is probably underneath the bridge. I'm not gonna find it with ice though. Hey yo! Where else do they put it? They're not gonna put it on the middle of the bridge, you know? That's not working. Okay, this. Can you go there? Hey! Hey, we got it. <laughs> as, it as it floats on down the river. Phantom cannon armor. Some believe this armor is blah blah blah. Nice. This is already looking pretty sweet, the set of armor. Is it the Phantom Ganon from Ocarina of Time or Wind Waker? It looks, I, I don't, I think it's, okay, did that fish beach himself? Sorry, buddy, you're too stupid. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to put you in my pouch. You're too stupid to live in this world. Oh my gosh, that one beached itself too. On a treasure chest nonetheless, okay. I'm gonna have to help this guy out immensely. He's beached himself. He's beached himself. Oh, this poor fish. Well, you can open him from the water? 
Okay, he, I saved him. I have saved that fish. I think for a second it was slightly on land, so I was able to open it. Yeah, nice, because I'm kind of standing here. I can open this no matter if it's floating or not. That's really funny. That one's going to be... Where do these even come from? I have... I have no idea. <laughs> they're just floating down the river. Someone put some fire hose and they're like, see you later, buddies. Have a nice flight. All right, where's, where's our next place we're going to? I'm having too much fun in the water. And at the Broken Stone Bird of Ibarra Forest. Uh, I don't... I'm going to grab you because you're, you're just asking to be picked up. <laughs> He's just asking to be picked up. So here's Ibarra Forest. It's... There's Floria Bridge. It's got to be somewhere in here. I'm going to throw my pin down again. Also, I apparently never... Take that pin off. We're going to go ahead and uh, fly to this shrine. It's right above it. It's a good spot. Fly there. We'll jump down. We'll explore Ibarra Forest for a little bit. I think it's... Re I believe there's big, giant, stone bird statues. They don't really look like birds, but that's what the game's calling them. So, I didn't notice the broken one, but apparently there is. We're going to go find it. And that should be our third and final piece of the puzzle. To get our sweet new armor. Unfortunately, we can't color it. Can't dye it, but... We could look like Phantom Ganon when it's all said and done, and that is worth it. Who doesn't want to be the master of evil? I will, you know, probably. Link probably doesn't want to be the master of evil, but apparently he's going to play dress up <laughs> and do it anyways. Cowabunga! Oh, that was a little too scary for me. So right here, I'm going to start the uh, start of Ibarra Forest. Hey, you guys are just everywhere, aren't you? My eightfold blade will slice you slowly into pieces. So I definitely have walked here, but I really... This force I remember not doing too much with. I don't remember if I was kind of fatigued at the time or didn't want to play too much. I didn't do too much with it. Ooh, banana. I can't help every time I see these bananas do the Donkey Kong 64 Mighty Banana thing, you know? Oh, but... Or Golden Banana, I should say. So, I believe these are the statues of the birds. See? You tell me that's a bird, right? Looks just like one. Oh, okay, Nintendo. Maybe that's a bad angle. Oh, yeah, yeah, that is a bad angle. This looks slightly more bird-esque. Looks kind of like a derby bird to me. <laughs> what's, what's happening? Oh, gosh. I, I thought... I, that sound effect sounds just like Link, doesn't it? Oh, that missed? You lucky... I'm going to kill you with your own eightfold blade. I, I honestly thought there was like some kind of echo of Link. That's the same exact sound Link makes. Wait, if those are bird statues and we're going to assume that they are, this is the broken one. So it should be around here somewhere. I'm not even cheating and using my uh, indicator. Oh, there it is. I, I vision... Okay. You tell me where it is. I cannot see that. I know I am slightly red-green colorblind, okay? I cannot see this treasure chest, like, at all. Physically, I cannot see a treasure chest there. I still cannot see a treasure chest. Okay, from here I can. From here I can tell the texture's different. But, like, uh, from, like, right here, I really can't. Uh, Matt, now I can because we're looking at it harder. But, like, look at this. Can you guys see that? Can you see a treasure chest? I can't. So luckily, the red makes it really easy, and that is the third and final EX piece, the Phantom Ganon Greaves. We've got to put this on. EX Treasure Dark Armor complete. Let's find out if this is the Wind Waker or the Ocarina of Time one. Honestly, I'm not the person to ask. I My Zelda knowledge is bleh, it's pretty bad. I really got to play more games, more Zelda games. I got to play more games in general. I am so behind on games. I can't. Oh, it's so frustrating. It sounds so silly to say, but it, it's like when you want to watch movies. Let's say you're like, man, I want to watch the new, you know, Marvel Avengers movie, but I haven't seen the last five of them. You know, you, you feel like you need to see the movies to kind of catch up with what's going on. I kind of feel like that with Zelda. I need to I need to play more of them so I understand a little bit, but a little bit more about uh, the history and everything. I have the general concept, but the details I'm missing. However, I am not missing how badass this looks. I scare little children. The hero of times here. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. this is terrifying. It's so badass. I gotta get rid of this royal... What, what am I wearing? Royal bow? Get rid of that crap. 
We need some something cool. All right, that's a good start. Ro yeah, the healthy royal. No, we don't want that crap. I don't really want to use my good savage line of blood. There we go. Something a little bit more badass for me. The night shield's decent, but this one's better. Oh yeah, now I look freaking awesome. Don't mind me, master of evil coming through. Here to murder everything. Can you imagine coming up to save Zelda like this? Don't worry, Zelda. Link's here. <laughs> yeah, that's terrifying. Though, to be fair, Link kind of looks like a little kid in a cosplay. You know, Ganon himself is like six feet tall, six feet five, monster, massive arms, buff, super strong, badass. And then you got Link here, he's like, Look at me, guys, my cosplay. Woo! Wee! Woo! You guys find this guy in the third floor of the convention center, you know, just running. Not that I mind. People can cosplay what they want, but Link, you're really not pulling it off, man. Just, just letting you know, you might look the part, but you're you don't have enough evil in you. I will give him credit. This looks, this looks really badass. That's the dark armor set. We are looking pretty sweet. The phantom armor. Did they, did they paint on the abs, or is Link that ripped? Or does Ganon's armor just have painted on abs? It's one of the two. I'm going to assume Link is that ripped. Let's find out. What does the outfit show? Oh, it shows abs painted on. Look, this one doesn't have abs painted on. This Tinkle shirt. That's skin tight. Look, you can see Link's pecs there. Skin tight shirt, no abs. So you know what that means, right? Ganon just has abs painted on his shirt. Ganon, I'm sure you've got abs underneath there. You don't need to paint them on. I, I mean, you could look big and blocky like... <laughs> hey, guys, it's me, Ganon. <laughs> boop -a -doop -a -doop, it's me, Ganon. Come in. <laughs> okay, okay. I understand now why Ganon painted his abs on. He's got to look a little cool. <laughs> okay, that's... It look, looks... Oh, oh, the truth comes out. There are no abs there. Eru, Eru. Wait, may maybe there are. No. You know what? I don't see him. I don't see him. Gotta get that painted, <laughs> painted ab shirt. Get it on. Get it. Oh, that's right. Impress the ladies. Yes. Yes. This is me, Master of Evil with abs. Count them, ladies. One, two, three, four, five, six. And a seventh and eight underneath my belt. <laughs> That's going to be the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh, that looks so cool. Next time we come back, we're going to be moving on to some more EX Treasure Quests. We're going to try and do a couple of these other ones. So look forward to that. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you all enjoyed. Go ahead and karate chop that like button. Until next time, GG.